All right, this has been a long time coming and this will be a slightly different video than usual because usually there is enough sauce for me to make a compliment sandwich. But here it would seem that all the compliments would be about some rather lucky mistakes the stumbled upon. Because there's only a small portion of the fan styles where Dee did some good things and made them fun, but it's mostly very old ones. Newest ones are unbelievably atrocious to play, especially ones in Deviri's Undercroft. So this is a downward spiral I'm not a fan of. In this video I want to try to break down what went well and what went wrong, hoping to get to the bottom of it and get some understanding what's the reason that the fence is becoming less and less fun. And I guess I'm hoping this video will reach someone in D, but that's a long shot. Anyway, let's start with what D nailed right on the money, and that's everybody's favorite, Rainier Galleon defense, or commonly known as Hydron. Many people use it to level up their stuff and it's a fun tile and I attribute most of that fun to a tight packed tile with good timings. What that means is that action is never far away and spawns are close enough so AI does not get to do stupid things AI does and get stuck on nothing. But there's also another thing the did there and seemingly forgot to do it ever again. Defense target in a defense mission actually has a lot of cover around it that prevents enemies from engaging it willy nilly from 50 meters away. I think that's the key that puts Hydron above all other defense missions in Wolfframe because what that does is create a couple of choke points which players can control and not worry about exposing the objective to too much scrutiny. But choke points are also well designed so that if you do not control them enemies don't get stuck inside them but they go through and engage. Good example is this area because it provides a lot of cover to the player and allows you to pick out a couple of spawns at will, all while letting other spawns group up on the objective side. But it's not like you can't defend the objective from there, you have an open line to deal with enemies that threaten it, which lets you control the flow of it, letting each spawn group up enough to engage with them. And it works, spawns are close, the timings are easy to get used to, it just works for a horde shooter. Now let's compare one of the tiles from the Undercroft. I recorded this in Captura, but the objective is here. And notice how there's little to no cover for the objective. Even worse, D made it so that enemies have a lot of cover and have means to engage the objective from quite a distance. On top of that, if you apply the same strat from Hydron and try to control one flank while letting other flank get to the objective, enemies just don't get to the objective. They stay in cover shooting an open objective and some places D created for enemies are just too overpowered. So they'll just sit there like 30 meters away spraying down the objective and you really have to go out of your way to deal with them. Who thought this was a good idea? D's defense on the Undercroft reminds me of how D underscore Mirage works in Counter-Strike. It's just a complete misapplication of the concept because in Counter-Strike goal is to prevent opponents from positioning themselves on the objective and planting the bomb. Well, goal in Wolfframe is slightly different. Let's take 8 site for example. The very site and the objective is very open, making it a risk to go out and take it, which is a part of what makes it fun. And because of that pressure on the attackers, positions that are usually taken by defenders in CT and jungle or connector, those positions are very potent and we get a fun dynamic on our hand. But what if I was to place a big old objective in the middle of it and the goal was to shoot down its HP? Then everything goes to waste. Defenders would have no usable positions to prevent attackers from doing that. That's seemingly exactly what D did in Undercroft and it doesn't work because to almost no one's surprise, CS and Wolfframe are very different games. Yes, in Wolframes you have a few abilities that are quite overwhelming in their destructiveness and some that are very good at protecting, but should players be forced to use them? You can't even force it in Undercroft as choices are randomized and you usually won't get a nuke frame. With how reworks on Corpus Ship and Corpus Gas City defense tiles look like, it would rather seem that D is trying to combat that overwhelming nuke spam just without actually addressing it. They just made a map so big that it needs its own spaceship, like both maps are larger than Railjack. In Corpus Ship Defense, enemy spawns are like 100 plus meters away and there's a lot of verticality involved which does not sit well with AI. That defense is one of the most recent ones and is downright one of the worst ones in the game. They copied the elevator from Hydron, guess that makes it good and bottom part has a lot of cover, but still it sucks because enemy spawns are too far which makes timings feel bad and unengaging. 
Similar things can be said about earth defense, for example. There's cover, just enemies have spawns that are too far away, and their pathing is so terrible that it ends up feeling frustrating to play. For the Undercroft, it rather seems that they first created a tile that looks good, which, in all fairness, it looks good, but then they slapped a defense objective on top of it, just hoping it'll work. Many developers do these things. Some even created maps from satellite images or Google images and attempted to create a balanced experience from that. It doesn't work, not consistently. So, to add some constructive criticism, defense objectives and horse shooters need to have some cover around them, for the objective and for the players. Just put some walls around it. There needs to be a human number of angles to worry about, in effective ways of isolating those angles without too much sacrifice. Because in the Undercroft there's like 7 angles, plus 2 vertical angles, plus tracks can fly up, and there's no way of isolating any of those fights without sacrificing a huge chunk of objectives HP. That's just an overwhelming number of things to do, even with the strongest of weapons. So, unless you get some crowd control frames going on, your run is bound to end early. But this problem is nothing new. I remember when I started Wolfframe and I got stuck at the old Corpus ship defense, and failed it quite a few times. Because again, the objective is too open, no cover for the player, I'm new and not strong, and there's seven angles to worry about. If we go back to Hydron, you rarely have more than three or four angles to worry about, which is fine. The wolf frame, and it's a more human number of angles. Enemy pacing is also very important. AI in wolf frame is not the sharpest, and if we are to give it one thing, it's that if it ever comes down to AI taking over the planet, we can be damn sure digital extremes would have nothing to do with that. Joke aside, main limitation is that AI needs to run on your PC or console, because Wolfram has no dedicated servers. But if AI is dumb, then make easier paths for them, make their spawns closer. Because timing is important, very important. If you have built your game to condition players to believe that one rotation should be 5 minutes, you can't expect players to enjoy defense that takes 10 minutes for the same reward, and on top of that, the same amount of action you get in 5 minute defense is now just stretched thin across those longer ones. So it just can't be perceived as fun. I get that we all want missions that are harder and harder, but defense missions are becoming less fun and more unfair. I'm all up for challenge, but I also failed a few circuit runs because I lost focus for a few seconds and forgot about some OP positions. Like enemies can stay hidden in a couple of bushes and you don't see them at all while they're destroying your objective. Challenge is fun, but battling against a rather flawed design is not fun. My heart sinks a little bit each time defense comes in the circuit. That's not supposed to be how I feel about a video game. D should look at stats. How many people leave when the next mission is defense? I'm willing to bet more than half the runs end at a defense stage. To top it off, I outright skip sorting missions when stuff like Corpus Ship Defense, Lula Defense, Corpus Outpost Defense, and such things are in rotation. These inability to understand what defense should look like in a horde shooter is also seen in other defensive missions. Excavators and mobile defense terminals are slapped in some atrocious places. Again, using the same logic as we mentioned above with Counter-Strike and placing the objective right in the open with zero cover while allowing enemies to get very easy shots on it from very far away. So it's a systemic thing, definitely not a one-off. So if you think I'm onto something here, let me know in the comments, like the video and maybe it reaches someone who can do something about this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.